watching VSM TV. I'm Carol Roy, and today I'm speaking with the Parallel CEO, Sergei Belousov, who we've laughed a little bit about my lack of ability to pronounce his last name. Sergei, how are you today? I'm fine. You actually pronounced my last name perfectly. I'm that good, I guess, right now. <laughs> and I'm taping it, which is great. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about Parallels and its history? Parallels was founded at the end of 99. We developed virtualization and automation software. Uh, one of the very important uh, differentiations for our company is that we are uh, heter we develop heterogeneous virtualization automation software, and we focus also on service providers, not only on the large enterprises. Now, we spoke with Parallels a few months ago. Any news since then? Well, there's lots of news happening this year. In general, virtualization space is really turbulent. I mean, one of the big news which has happened is that uh, uh, produced by VMware changed their executive management, and, and that uh, change continues to unveil itself. And we have done a number of announcements since that time. Uh, in general, if you look at parallels 12 months ago and parallels 12 months from now, it will look quite a bit uh, different. Uh, we're trying to become uh, better focused, uh, uh, better uh, structured with our product strategy, and most importantly, we are releasing a complete set of our products. We, we were still very much in uh, technology engineering stage, uh, up to probably early next year, we'll continue to be uh, keeping a lot of our products uh, in just development and not sales. But uh, we will have a full set of products selling uh, early next year. Parallels currently playing in the virtualization space? It's an interesting question. I think if you look at Parallels, first of all, uh, we are not only a virtualization company, uh, and, and so very significant part of our revenue is automation. Uh, and and uh, automation is a new space. We believe that automation is very much a space which will be greatly enabled by virtualization and by the trends which are associated with virtualization, such as cloud computing or consolidation of enterprise IT. And so this space is just the beginning. Uh, then, if you look at our virtualization offering, uh, we basically uh, occupy a number of very important niches. Uh, we are not a broad market player just yet. We are going broad market uh, as we have all of our products completed uh, early next year. But we have a number of important niches. For example, service provider space. It's becoming a broad market, but it used to be a niche. And in that niche, we have uh, definitely very strong position with our parallel virtual containers. Or virtualization for Mac, that's another space where we, we are playing very important role. Or virtualization for Itanium, or virtualization for highly scalable workloads, and so on and so forth. We also believe that we have a very good uh, uh, play in, in VDI uh, due to the density characteristics of our container technology. Now tell us about Parallel's new VDI relationships. I know there have been several. You know, first of all, uh, the most important relationship we have in this space is with Quest, uh, provision networks. And we have announced bundling uh, just about a month ago, a little bit uh, more than that. Uh, we announced a partnership earlier than that. And we continue to have a stronger and stronger partnership with uh, provision. And so they're primary partner in that space. In addition to that, uh, we continue to entertain our strategy to be heterogeneous. And so we intend to partner with all of the major uh, DDI uh, vendors. Uh, and, and we announced uh, the relationship with Alex, which is USB support, which will help us uh, with provision as well. And, and then uh, recently, most recently, we announced the relationship with Ericom, which is also a partnership in VDI space. Similar to provision, and, and you know, there are some uh, important differentiations in Ericom technology, which are important for us to have the partnership with. Obviously, we're sitting here at the Aquinox restaurant at VMworld 2008. We've just started the day. What are you most looking forward to, and what is you know your parallel's most important objective while here at VMworld? Well, you know, for better or for worse, this year is a year of a lot of strange changes in virtualization. So we did have uh, uh, Microsoft coming out with uh, technology, and that should make things relatively unstable. And stable is not bad. It's potentially good, especially for smaller companies like ours. But uh, it wasn't enough. We also had a number of acquisitions, such as Sun trying to enter virtualization space. I wouldn't actually count it as very serious. Uh, uh, Red Hat recently buying Kumranet, which is another relatively unusual move. 
and most importantly, executive management changes at, at VMware. And, and so that makes the space highly turbulent. It's not clear what's going to happen uh, with VMware, with VMworld. Um, you know, VMware is clearly the most uh, important vendor in the space today. Uh, and yet it's in, in the under most attack. And VMworld is a conference. I'm really looking forward to find out what's the VMware new strategy. Floor, where can our viewers find you and what will they find at the Parallels booth this year? Uh, our booth is 1123. 1233. Oh, sorry. 11, 1233. 1233. 1233. And uh, we have a booth here, and uh, you know, uh, most of our employees are wearing red shirts. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's, it should be relatively easy to find us. So we have a sign on the front and sign on the back. Excellent. And finally, Sergey, where can our VSM viewers go to learn more about Parallels and all of its offerings? Well, on the website, www.parallels.com. You got it. Sergey, good luck. Enjoy VMworld. It's great speaking with you. Thank You're you. watching VSM TV. I'm Carol Roy. We'll catch you again from the VMworld floor.